how long did y'all wait in line today? We, we've already been here. No, no. 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 <laughs> so you can sense evil. Hello, dummies. Kid Dynamite checking in here. We're here at the Salt Lick, one of the more upscale barbecue places. It's better than most of the places I go. Usually, the places I eat, they have like mosquito netting. There's like uh, cigarettes in the food. So uh, I'm just honestly uh, pretty happy to be here in general. Uh, apparently, people are waiting in line for up to three and a half hours just to get some barbecue. Is it worth it? Let's find out. So typically, there's like a long line to get in here, right? Always, actually. Are you totally sick of the food? I'm totally sick of the food. You hate the food. I don't hate the food. I Sound just said I'm sick of it. Once you smell that smell about a thousand times, yeah, you get pretty sick of it. Yeah, I have heard that from a lot of women in my life, unfortunately. <laughs> Usually, I have trouble meeting women, but I think I just nailed it. The shuttle girl, I think, was kind of into it. Man, I gotta say, you're probably the coolest shuttle girl I've ever met. I've met a lot of them. You've met a lot of shuttle girls? Yeah. Really? Fuck the barbecue. I'm just, you know, happy to meet somebody, you know? Okie doke. Okay. What is the deal with the girl driving the shuttle? I thought I was doing well with her and it was a, turned out to be a complete disaster. It's like they want to keep you physically safe, but emotionally they don't care at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's really, no, it's not funny. So you guys are here at the Salt Lick. Uh, what are you most looking forward to trying? The ribs. Okay, the ribs. ribs. Some people have to wait here for like three hours. What are you guys doing to pass the time? Uh, we are drinking beer. You're drinking beer. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of beer? You like Shiner Ruby Redbird. Oh, with that we get to and, get our and, Enjoy your food and get oh, your act together. Our barbecue's ready. How long have you owned this place? My grandparents bought this place in 1902, and there's a right down the road about two miles and my great-grandmother homestead in 1980. So you have had Texas roots here for a very long time. Yeah. Texas barbecue is a social event. It's not just the meat. We consider this the biggest backyard barbecue in Texas. Okay. <laughs> what are you most known for food-wise here? Not to brag, but Bobby Flay said it was the best barbecue you ever had was the beef roast. You know, other people talk about, you know, my food's better than yours, I'm the best, and everything like this. We don't judge it that way. We judge it how happy you are when you leave. So what are we working with here? So we had that beef rib that I told you about earlier. They say that the grapes take on the flavor of Oh, God, that's really good. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I didn't hear a word you just said because I bit into that and I went, uh, I forgot English. Yeah. The radiant heat and the smoke caramelizes the sauce on the outside. And then some of it drips down and hits the coals and flares like on the barbecue pit and comes back and gives another flavor. I got to say, worth the wait. Thank you. Definitely coming back for that. How do I get this job? I just show up and I eat beef and drink beer and talk to people. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. That's what we're all about. That's what you're all about. Yeah. That's what we're all about. Okay. <laughs> well, cheers with that. That is really good. Thank you. This is so good. I gotta be honest. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 